The biggest university is eyeing a new campus in Santa Fe. UNM hopes it will help keep more young people in New Mexico after they graduate. News 13's Jackie Kent is live at UNM with a look at the plans. Jackie. Dean, UNM wants to expand north. It already has a Santa Fe campus in mind, but wants to be sure it can afford it. Lobo Nation could be expanding to Santa Fe, and the idea is getting mixed reactions. I just like the whole like the whole scene there, all the arts, all the art stuff that goes on there. So I mean, I, don't, I mean, I love Albuquerque, but it'd be cool. It'd be really cool to have that option. I think it would be cool. I probably wouldn't just because I'm from out of state. UNM senior vice provost Rich Wood says if the university can find financial backing. It may take over the 64-acre Santa Fe University of Art and Design campus, set to close in the spring because of financial troubles. We can't sort of bet money on this. It's got to be a really solid thing that'll self-fund. UNM is hoping it can partner with Santa Fe Community College, UNM Los Alamos, and UNM Taos to offer arts, innovations, and entrepreneurship courses that can prepare students for a career in New Mexico. They'll be on the kind of terrain of new design, innovation, new arts, creativity kinds of programs. But to make it happen under a tight budget, UNM is hoping it can rely on the deep pockets of Raffles Education Corp out of East Asia. It's a private university that wants a presence in American higher ed. The idea is several hundred students from Asia coming in, but also making this available to New Mexico students. A task force is vetting Raffles Education Corp and will make a recommendation to the university by the end of the year. If the task force makes a positive recommendation and the president decides he wants to move forward with plans, the senior vice provost said classes can start in Santa Fe as early as next fall. Back to you. All right, Jackie, thank you. 54 students at the Santa Fe Art School are suing because that school is closing. The students claim the university committed fraud and put their educational futures at risk. A local